because now he strictly pulled the geology side into the his development side in order to get new miles or in order to increase our profits in that our statistical mine here. PT Moglanat Bangsa, the nation's first electric bus. Mm -hmm. Why you can stay like this? Because we start this business right before everyone else thinks about the EV. We at Moglanat Bangsa are more focused on the commercial side. Why? Because, you know, the needs on the mass transportation for the buses uh, is uh, keep increasing. My name is Greg Stoller. Thank you so much for coming. We are very excited to be kicking off our inaugural Susilo Institute Business and Ethics Case Competition. It is truly heartening to see participants not just from Indonesia, but from all the corners of the globe, including team from Boston University, students and faculty from the United States, Mexico, Germany, Japan, and Lebanon gathered here today. There were 70 teams competing and you got here, so congratulations to yourself. I ucapkan selamat datang para generasi muda dari Anum Negara untuk mengadakan kompetisi di Indonesia. Semoga kompetisi ini membawa hasil-hasil yang baik untuk masyarakat Indonesia terutama dan juga untuk tamu-tamu yang dari luar negeri semuanya supaya hari depan ini bisa membawa lebih indah, lebih bagus untuk masyarakat ini. Um, appreciate your presentation. But uh, really, really great job, honestly. Like, I think you guys nailed it to the point, you know. Uh, the idea simplified into two main points. And actually, the funny thing is, uh, these are ideas that we're proposing to the government also. The second place team of the inaugural Susilo Institute Business and Ethics Case Competition is Germany. And for the first place team in the inaugural Susilo Institute Business and Ethics Case Competition, make it louder, is congratulations to the American University of Beirut. I think everyone in this room today learned a lot, and this is why we have case competitions. It's all about knowledge sharing. It's all about hard work. It's all about students getting addicted to it, enjoying it, and trying to take learning to another level. So with the case competition, it was a bit of a fresh air for us. We really wanted to support the case competition because I think as the Cicillo Institute was actually set up for students in, in mind, then it's time for the students to be able to give something back to us. <laughs> 